want to say back in the hotel but i'm not back in the hotel i'm in the hotel and i'm actually waiting for my boss and his wife to go and have dinner with them we're gonna go and have a venezuelan dinner in a bistro i don't know the reviews are quite good i've also today had a two hour swift ui slash swift meeting where we were talking about it we did the tutorial of swift ui the official one from apple kind of like gathering thoughts feelings feedback and so on if you don't know swift then jumping to swift ui can be very confusing so swift ui is predominantly probably for people who already know swift i mean you could still figure out you know like programming languages and all this like framework stuff it's all like the base of it <laughs> is you know the programming language programming concepts like if else switch variables cons scopes all of the good stuff that you already know about from other languages so it's still there it didn't go anywhere just need to kind of like adapt to the new syntax i don't know if you know but i've applied for like a german citizenship and in order to apply for a german citizenship you need to pass one test which is the citizenship test <laughs> in order to prepare for that test i actually created my own little web page where i took the 300 questions and i put them all in like a randomizer app or a web page let's call it like that because it's not an app i'm gonna build that in swift as an app in order to practice the skills i don't know if i'm gonna use swift ui probably yes because if i need some framework then our developer suggested that it's better to use swift ui rather than ui kit and it seems like that's when everything is moving towards swift ui the underlying language is still swift so i need to get better at that one or get that one in general that's what i've been up to i almost need to leave i'm gonna go and get some cash because i actually don't know if leipzig is card friendly because berlin is not if you're ever going to berlin you need cash okay post pandemic it became a bit better that you can pay with card in many places but there's still like a good amount of places where you cannot pay with card go figure all of those people that tell you that germany is very progressive they lie. that's why i'm gonna go and still get some cash <laughs> because we're going like to a bistro they probably were not gonna accept Card. We also went out yesterday and I still owe the money. It's my turn to pay. <laughs> so I need to get some cash. I just came back. There's probably a weird echo. It's time to wash off the makeup and all the dirt from the day. I bought a mask, like a facial thingy. So I have this clinic. Take the day off. It's a cleansing balm. You see how it kind of melts everything? But I would be careful not to like rub it in in your eyes. It doesn't hurt, but it gives you like for a couple of blinks like this layer. Not the best feeling. Anyway, tomorrow we are going to a concert of the feet. And I'm bringing my boss and he's like Brazilian friends. I now need to talk to the feet to put everybody on the list. I'm gonna go change to my PJs, put on the mask and I'm all ready to go running, but I'm sitting by the window and trying to wait for the sun to come out a little bit because I don't want to run in the dark. You know, perks of being a woman. Mm -hmm. Has gotten a little bit bright outside, so I think it's time to go for a run. If I run, however I run, I should be back by 7, 7.15 tops. Let's go. I'm 
ready. Running a bit late. Talking here is not helping me. Um, but yeah, I have around 20 minutes to have breakfast downstairs. I have my earrings here. <laughs> and yeah, it's time to run out from the hotel room. It's all like shaky. I'm back in the hotel. I just got ready for the concert and I'm just waiting for my boss to pick me up. It was pretty cool today to work from Leipzig. And we're gonna first go and eat pita and then we're gonna go to the concert. Then I'll show you some stuff around. I don't know why I sound like I've partied very hard yesterday. I only went to a concert. I didn't drink except of one glass of water. I don't know, maybe my body is just automatically party time. <laughs> and this is how you recover from party time. Who knows? Anyway, I'm in my hotel. This is my cable, which is why I came on video to show you. You know, I was working with my boss yesterday from cafes and he saw my cables and he was like, Vanilla, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> He pulls out this chunk of cables and they're like perfect. And then there is me. It's not bad, it's still good. A perfectly working cable, but which makes sense. Those little things, they're kind of like breaking it a little bit inside, you know? They're like kind of like bending it in places where it shouldn't be bent. I agree. What I didn't know is that there is a way to fold the cable. So let me show you. I have not mastered that, but in case we're in the same situation, I just want more people to know about that. So you will not be called out by your boss. <laughs> Basically, there is like a natural way for the cable to turn. And I think I fucked that one up, but how it's supposed to work. Maybe let's take this end on one end or whatever end. When you start folding, when you're doing these things, like it's gonna go in a natural loop. If it doesn't, there is a secret to that. This hand needs to also twist it a little bit. You know, it, it keeps on getting better. While you're folding this, so while, you know, this chunk is like, this hand also needs to kind of like twist it a little bit. And this was effortlessly done. And then you repeat, and then you repeat. I think it's called coiling, coiling the, the cable, the rope. Yeah, so if you get one thing out of this video, you're welcome. Shout out to my boss.
the local train to Schwedt via Berlin Potsdamer Platz, Berlin Main Station and Bernau. Wehrreichen und Berlin Südkreuz, Ausstieg für Sie in Fahrtrichtung rechts. Vielen Dank und auf Wiedersehen im EC in der Deutschen Bahn. I thought to chit chat with you. We're in a different setup. This is my kitchen, by the way. I didn't unpack yet my whole goodie baggy stuff. This is, by the way, something I found somewhere again on the internet. It is awesome because you just drop everything here and then you can open it fully and then spread it everywhere and you have a really good overview of everything. So it's actually pretty good. I don't know where we got cut off yesterday, but I managed to get home. I was home alone. That was nice to kind of like chill after all the socializing because I think I was very tired because I socialized every freaking second of that trip. While it was awesome and I really enjoyed it, like the people were super cool, super nice. And it was also, you know, traveling involved. So I enjoyed it a lot, but it still drains your energy. And I think on Friday I was already like, I cannot even give my order in Starbucks <laughs> because I'm so tired. I did get a matcha for the first time. No, I once got a matcha in Japan. I'm not ready for that. That, that. that was really like matcha, matcha, matcha. In Starbucks, I got it with one pump of caramel. So apparently like, there's, there's this whole thing that you can go to Starbucks and tell them which order you want and all of that. I didn't know that's a thing. I don't know how you all come up with all those recipes and all like this one pump, this, 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 this. And I was just like, anyway, matcha was okay. <laughs> Freaking seven euros, but it's like, you know, girl math, seven euros when you're away from home doesn't count. It's like nothing, sunscreen. I don't know if you can see it, but I have like those little stripes there. From my hat on that anyway 5k i think that regarding running which i love i think it kind of like can become a little bit boring if you do it all the time and especially now that i'm in a better place with my mental health i don't have like the the massive urge to just like fucking run you know i got a bit like off of my physical activity and i feel it so i would need to step up my game and i'm thinking that i'll keep the running still like for three days a week because i think that's optimal and then i can also like push it a little bit further so i did today 5k i could aim for four or five k on every run but if i do it every day then i think that would be a little bit too exhausting plus it's like the sweat and everything and i'm just like not a fan so i'm thinking to do home pilates because i really need to strengthen my core because my posture is so 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 bad it's just so bad and i just really need to take care of that before it gets too late and i'm old and i don't have muscles there time flies by and i really want to get that thing on point because i have the feeling that i always had a very weak core and i feel like this is a new challenge that i can embark on i'm not sure if this vlog actually translates into what i wanted it to be the response from the first vlog was very very positive and encouraging and supportive and i mean i didn't expect anything else from you so <laughs> but still it's very nice to see that you know you like it you support it and you're here for it so Appreciate it. With this one, I actually just started, I, I didn't even think to film this one now when I go to Leipzig. But then David was like, hey, why don't you film also like, you know, the concert, the tour bus, and it's a pretty cool thing to show. And I totally agree. I, I'm excited about it. So I thought like, maybe I can show you and you're gonna be excited about it. Didn't show you much, I guess, but as much as I could, because you know, the tour bus is also for their home for now. And I feel like I'm like invading their home and showing, even though I didn't show anything much there, it was during the the time when they were doing their show or not, it was before their show. So that's when they usually get ready, you know, like change some clothes or grab some last minute stuff from the bus. Basically it's like, it's, it's their little safe space to stay there when they're on the road and they're away from home. So of course I couldn't show you much. And plus there's like bazillions of people in that bus. Showed you as much as I could. Concert was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Probably because this time I went with friends, let's call them. <laughs> I mean, I only knew my, really knew my boss and then I met everybody else. I met my boss's wife the day before. I had a like, great time. We had good conversations, food as well. Then I met their friends, also super lovely people, all of them. And I wish I could hang out more actually but life, cities, location, home. Oh, we'll be looking forward for the next concert for them to come again. And that was really, really, really cool. What I was saying is that the concert was awesome probably because I had friends this time <laughs> with me. Usually like some of the other partners of, from the band also come and we hang out, but when it's in another city, you never know who's gonna come. It kind of like went super spontaneous, this whole vlogging this time. So I apologize if it's not gonna go through very structured or 
with a timeline or with a storyline or whatever. I'll see what I can save with the edit and if not we learn from it and we continue with the next one i think this kind of wraps up this vlog 002 again i'm not sure if i've delivered all like the storyline that i wanted but it's what it is we're learning we're growing we're having fun as we promised i'll see you in the next one